the final thing that's remaining up here in this form that is working nicely is uh, we simply got a, we actually are having all these edit and delete and stuff. Now we want to just add a create form. The thing that we are gonna learn here is nothing new. We have already seen all of it into a bit more complex way. Now we just want to pass on some information. Information is traveling from child to parent and there is a syntax, we saw that with the event keyword. That's exactly what we'll be doing. So shouldn't be a big deal. Let's go ahead and work on it. Now we can close this one, there's too much going on. This is what we are gonna need, but we're gonna open that later on. Right now let's go into the component, create a new file. Let's call it as uh, new to do or create to do. I'm gonna call this one as new uh, to do dot view. I was about to write JS. Okay, how do we proceed with that? We simply go ahead and say, I need a template. I need a script part and I need styling part as well. Okay, so the styling part, we are just gonna keep it scoped. We are not much dependent on the styling part. We are taking care of that by a bootstrap. So let's go ahead and add a form. This form is gonna have a few of the classes. So column is gonna be 12, uh, but also column on the larger screen is gonna be six. There we go, that's all what we need. We are gonna not, we are not interested in the actions actually. We are gonna be actually uh, saying that, hey, please don't do the action. We're gonna submit prevent of the actions. But for that, we have to work on the brain part of it first. So the brain part, it's actually really simple. First and foremost, we obviously are gonna have a data like this. We got a return, common syntax every time. The only thing that we knew here, we know or we want here is gonna be new to do. Initially, it's gonna be empty. So we're gonna model our data with the form that, yeah, be aware of this new guy. And we're gonna pass that as an event, as an emit, uh, not emit, as an event there completely. So it should be fairly simple. Let's go outside of the data and we're gonna simply say, I need methods like this. And there's gonna be just one method, which is add to do. Don't worry, we are not rewriting the method. We are just calling a method from the parent, which will be passed to us eventually. We're gonna go ahead and work like this. Let's add a conditional so that empty forms are not being submitted at least. So we're gonna simply say that if this dot new to do, it should be having a length of greater than uh, one at least. Who is writing a one word, uh, but let's just say he wants to add an A, we're not gonna allow him, we are gonna say A, B, at least write two, and then only we're gonna allow that. We can actually add the pop-up messages or anything like that in the error section, but we're gonna just allow Submit something like this. Then what we have to do if somebody is actually writing anything more than one letter, then we're gonna say this dot, we're gonna emit an event. So let's go ahead and emit, it always works. The two things that we always do, remember we did this exact same thing in the previous one as well. First and foremost, we simply say that, hey, uh, when you are saying on new uh, to do, and uh, again, we are following the same convention here which we did uh, up back there, this is the one. So on delete, on, let's call it as on add to do. Blah. We are gonna just say huh, on add to do. There we go, this is much better. So on add to do, whatever you're calling while passing on this information, and then we are gonna simply pass on this uh, variable which is new to do. Okay, that's all, that's all what we got. But one thing we are gonna be doing that once this is being submitted, this dot new to do, not like that, new to do is actually flushed out or is being reset to an empty string. That's all what we need up here. And that's the most basic stuff we'll be doing. At the top part, this is gonna be fairly, fairly easy. We just need an input and input is gonna have a, a class, bootstrap class, which is form dash control. There we go. Did I wrote it wrote? Nope. Control, there we go, nice and easy. Okay, first and foremost, it should be aware of it. How do we make it aware? By using the V model. And we simply say, hey, you should be aware or should be binded with this particular variable. Not, not really too much stuff. And we're gonna add a simple placeholder as well, which is gonna say enter to do, there we go. Okay, nice and easy. Now, only thing that's remaining up is calling up this component because in the to-do list, not to-do, this to-do, we, if you remember, we have placed it somewhere. Let me show you that uh, somewhere. Add create to do form. So this is where we actually need to call it. How do we call any data? We simply first and foremost come back here. We simply say, I want to import uh, add to do. 
and that's going to be coming up from uh, the same directory of new to do. Let's call it as new to do, add to do. I'm going to call this one as new to do. Yeah, naming is not really great in this case, but let's just copy this. First and foremost, make sure that a component is aware of it. So paste that. Once this is aware of it, we can actually go ahead and load this up instead of this form. Oh, there we go. We're going to say new to do and save that. Okay, this is very, very long. <laughs> We're going to reduce that. But right now, this is not going to work. No matter how hard you try, this is never going to work. Let's try that uh, A, B, uh, some variables. Hit enter. It doesn't work. The flushing is happening, but it's not getting added up here. Can you guess the reason why this is happening? This is happening because remember, here we were passing on a whole lot of at the rate. Here, nothing at all. So here we also need to pass on this. So at the rate, and I don't know what I called it. What should I expect here? I should expect this guy. Copy that. At the rate, this guy is going to be equal to the method that we have, which is add to do. Yes, I forget them sometimes because I work on a lot of stuff at the same time. There we go. And at the time of add to do, make sure we are receiving some information. Whenever we are receiving some information, notice what we do. Yep, you guessed it. We're going to say a dollar event. Save that. And we can actually add these classes to these row. Uh, let me just try to add. We're going to see that later on. These are some CSS issues, not of a big deal. I'm going to say new, new, and new. And once I hit enter, this is still not getting updated. Uh, just found the small bug. And in case you are complaining, hey, how could you make a bug? Everybody makes a bug and it's most important that you are able to find it out. So I looked on it why we are not actually doing it. So yeah, we are actually doing it. We are saying test and hit enter. It's refreshing. So somehow it's working. And I found out the reason the form was getting submit as default. It shouldn't be getting submit default. Remember, we wrote this method had to do, but we actually never used it. My bad. Talking and writing at the same time is not really easy. You'll give me on that. So we're going to say submit and uh, add to do. There we go. And make sure you prevent it as a default. Otherwise, you're going to see the same issue that I saw. Come on, dot, prevent, there we go. And again, why is it having issue? Yep, uh, it's all messed up. It's all messed up. Let me hit Command Z a couple of times so that we actually get onto the position where it was all good. Uh, yep, why is it having action? I don't know. Submit is going to have a prevent. And then we are going to say add to do. There we go. And that's all it should take. It should take. So we're going to simply say test, hit enter. And there we go. Voila, test is available. We're going to say test two. We all make bugs. If you think that I write the code which is 100% error free, you are cute. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and hit edit. This is not test two. This is rather test three. I hit outside. Yeah, it's going great. I can delete the stuff. I can mark it check, uncheck. Uh, surely it requires a little bit uh, precise CSS styling issues as well, but we are not concerned of that that much. Uh, but again, uh, I always work on these applications a little bit more once these videos are recorded. So I'll give you the final files uh, where these buttons are actually changed into icons and stuff and a bit more polishable so that you can add more stuff to it. And definitely if this is bothering you, this is not of a big deal. We can actually fix this quickly. So we're going to have a row. This row is going all the way up. So we're going to say div dot call and we're going to use all 12 here. But on the larger screen, we are going to use just the six of it. Hit enter and I can move this guy up here. Should be fixed now. Yeah, a little bit, but not much. Uh, surely I'll give you the edited CSS file. But again, it requires a little bit of the issues on fixing up the CSS and issues. But I think you'll excuse me on that. Again, the final version where I will edit some of the CSS behind the scene is going to be available in the description section, uh, which I showed you in the very first of the video. But the, my goal was on the functionality. If you just want me to create another video on discussing more the CSS or stuff like this, I don't think it's worth the value of your time. You can learn much more on my channel instead of just watching me fixing the CSS. Uh, but again, I hope you have enjoyed this. 
But again, uh, this video can be modified into bit adding to the database, uh, adding through the local storage, and that would be much more fun. Right now, I have just shown you the bare minimum basics of Vue. We haven't used the powerful API that is being provided by the Vue. Notice I talked a bit about uh, these things which we haven't actually used next tick, and that's why I have uh, mentioned it that yes, these are very powerful and you should be using it. If you want me to make more such crash courses, or maybe a full course, just let me know in the comment section and I would be really happy to see your words. That's it for this one and let's catch up in the next one.